My name is Tib, and welcome to my video explaining the different flop, stud, and draw games you may find in mixed games. When I was first introduced to mixed games, I had enough knowledge on horse and deuce 7 triple draw. However, it was games such as Badugi, Raz Dusi, and Badesi I'd never even heard of or had a clue how to play them. The first time I sat at a dealer's choice game, I had composed some notes basically telling me what the nuts were in each game. But at the time, however, there were still some holes in what I could find online of exactly how certain games played. In the years since, more and more content on mixed games have steadily emerged across varying platforms. With the launch of this channel, with a goal in mind to provide innovative mixed game content in an effort to create some value and grow the mixed game community by reaching new players, I thought that I would do my best to give an accurate and concise breakdown of each of the games you may find in the mix currently. So here we go. Mix games are pretty much divided into flop, stud, and draw games. And in no particular order, let's start with some of the flop games you may encounter in dealer's choice mix games. Okay, let's start with Hold'em. Actually, let's not. Everyone knows how to play it, and if you're watching this video, you're probably not needing a Hold'em explanation. Pineapple plays exactly like Hold'em, but instead of being dealt two cards, you are dealt three. Crazy Pineapple sees you discard a card before the turn, while in Normal Pineapple, you discard a card before the flop. Another variation to Pineapple is Pineapple High Low, which is a split pot game with half the pot awarded to the high hand and the other half of the pot awarded to the lowest hand. Omaha is nearly as common as Hold'em is nowadays, but for those unsure, you are dealt 4 and sometimes 5 cards and must use 2 to make the best 5 card poker hand. Omaha High Low 8 or Better is a split pot game where half the pot goes to the high hand and the other half of the pot goes to the best low which must be 8 or better and be 5 unpaired cards to qualify. In the mix nowadays, you will find both 4 and 5 card Omaha variants, as well as options for the standard single board or the more favourable double board variety. The basis for stud games is that each player is dealt 2 down cards, followed by 4 up cards and then a final down card. Instead of the blinds, there are annies and a force bring in for either the lowest or highest up card depending on which game is being played. The variations on stud include pineapple stud, which means you are dealt 3 down cards and must discard 1, super stud, which means you are dealt 4 down cards and must discard 2, pitch and roll, which means you are dealt 4 down cards and you must discard 1 and roll your window card, and finally roll your own, which sees you dealt your 4 up cards face down and you can choose which of your down cards to roll on each subsequent street. The object of Raz is to make the lowest possible 5 card hand, with straights and flushes not counting against you while the ace plays low. In this example, player 2 has made a perfect 8 low, but player 1 will be deemed the winner as he has a 7 low. Stud high is the opposite to Raz, as you are trying to make the best possible 5 card hand. In this example, player 1 has made a queen high straight, but it would be player 2's buried pair of 7's improving to kings up on 4th street before further improving to a full house on 6th street that would see him claim victory. Stud high low 8 or better is a split pot game with half the pot awarded to the best high hand and the other half of the pot awarded to the lowest hand that must be an 8 low or better. There will always be a high hand and when there is no qualifying low, the high hand is awarded the entire pot. In this example, player 2 has an 8 low and 2 pair aces and 4s. Unfortunately for him, player 1 had a 7 low heading into the final card and found one of the only 2 cards that would see him take the lead for the high when he made trip 2s to scoop the entire pot. Stud high low regular is played under the same rules as stud high low 8 or better, but has one major exception. There is no qualifier required for the low half of the pot. In this example, 
Player 1 was drawing to a jack low, but by the final card had made a full house for the high to go along with a pair of threes for the low. Although player 2 began with rolled up kings, he never improved his high and instead made a king low. With player 1 taking the high and player 2 taking the low, the pot would be chopped up between the two. Res Daisy is basically the stud version of Badesi, and is a split pot game that awards half the pot to the lowest hand like in Raz, and awards the other half of the pot to the best Badugi hand, which is a 4 card hand with no equal ranks or suits, with the best hand being Ace, 2, 3, 4, Rainbow. In this example, player 1 has an 8 low and an 8 Badugi, as he uses his 8 of spades, 6 of hearts, 4 of diamonds and the Ace of clubs for his best Badugi. Player 2 has a 6 low and a 6 Badugi, with his 6 of spades, 4 of clubs, 2 of diamonds and ace of hearts. With player 2 making a 6-6, six, six, he will scoop the entire pot. Raz Ducey is basically the stud version of Badusi and is a split pot game that awards half the pot to the best 2-7 low hand that is the worst possible hand in poker with aces playing high and straights and flushes counting against you. The other half of the pot is awarded to the best Badugi hand, but with aces playing high, the best Badugi is 2, 3, 4, 5, Rainbow. In this example, player 1 has a 9 low and a 7 Badugi, as he uses his 7 of hearts, 4 of diamonds, 3 of spades, and deuce of clubs. Player 2 has an 8 low, but does not have a 4 card Badugi, as his heart and club are the same rank. Instead, he has a 3 card Badugi. Consequently, both players will chop the pot. Thirty is a game that started in home games, but is now being called in some of the dealer's choice mix games. It is a split pot game that awards half the pot to the best high hand like in stud, while the other half of the pot is awarded to the hand featuring the most pips in the hole. The best possible hand is 30, meaning you are dealt two tens to start and found a third ten on 7th street. Pitcher cards are worth zero and aces are worth just one. In this example, player one started with 16 in the hole and improved to 22 on the river, while also having two pair kings and eights for the high. Player two started with two tens for 20 in the hole, but caught a paint card on 7th street to lose that half of the pot. For the high portion, he could only improve to a weaker two pair and thus player one would scoop the pot. The basis of draw poker is that each player is dealt a complete 5 card hand before any further action. Players can choose to draw any number of cards or keep what they have by standing pat. In the following games, players will have the opportunity to draw 3 times with betting rounds occurring after each draw is complete. Deuce to 7 triple draw is the most common of all draw games and has a sole purpose of players trying to make the worst hand possible. Aces play high and straights and flushes count against you, with the best hand being 7, 5, 4, 3, deuce, or in other words, the wheel. In this example, player 2 has made a very good hand, with a perfect 8, meaning he has the best 8 possible as he is holding 8, 5, 4, 3, deuce. Unfortunately, player 1 has pipped in by 1, as he has made a rough 7 for the 4th best hand in the game, with his 7, 6, 5, 3, deuce, seeing him scoop the pot. Ace to 5 triple draw, or California low ball, is basically the draw version of Raz, with the goal of making the lowest possible hand, where straights and flushes don't count against you, and Ace, Deuce, 3, 4, 5 is the best hand. In this example, player 1 has made a 7 low, but it would be player 2's better 6 low that would ensure the pot is pushed his way. Badugi is a low ball game where you want to draw to the lowest set of cards with no equal ranks or suits. The best hand is ace, 2, 3, 4 rainbow and any 4 card Badugi beats a 3 card incomplete Badugi and so forth. In this example, Player 1's cards are not equal in rank and suit, and therefore he has a King Badugi. 
Although at first glance, player 2 may look like he's holding a 6 Pajugi, he unfortunately isn't, as his pair of 6s means he only has a 3 card 6. Therefore, player 1 will win this pot. High Doogie isn't as common as its brother Badoogie, but it is slowly appearing more and more. The goal of the game is to make the highest set of cards with no equal suits and quad aces being the best possible hand. Any Badoogie with a pair will outrank a normal Badoogie and so forth. In this example, it appears as player 1 has a monster hand as he has trip kings. Unfortunately, his kicker is the same suit as one of those kings and therefore he has an incomplete Badoogie hand. Player 2 has a pair doogie and a complete hand and therefore will scoop this pot. As touched on earlier in the video, Badesi is basically the draw version of Razdesi. Badesi is a split pot game that awards half the pot to the lowest hand, like in Ace to 5 triple draw, while awarding the other half of the pot to the best Badoogie hand. The best possible hand is Ace, 2, 3, 4, Rainbow with a 5. In this example, player 1 has made a straight 6, but only has a 3 card Badoogie with his 2 of hearts, 3 of spades and 4 of diamonds. Player 2 has made a 7 low and also has a 3 card Badoogie with his 6 of hearts, 2 of spades and Ace of clubs. Consequently, player 1 will win the entire pot. Badusi is a split pot game that awards half the pot to the best deuce to seven low hand and the other half of the pot to the best Badoogie hand. Since aces play high, the best hand is two, three, four, five rainbow with a seven. In this example, player one has made an eight eight, meaning he has both an eight low and an eight Badoogie with his eight of clubs, four of diamonds, three of spades and deuce of hearts. Player two has a seven low, but no Badoogie as he can only play the 6 of hearts, 3 of clubs and deuce of spades for an incomplete hand. Consequently, both players will chop this pot. A game that has been on the rise across all limits is high-low triple draw double qualifier, or in other words, Archie. Archie is a split pot game, with half the pot awarded to the best high hand, and the other half of the pot awarded to the best low hand. The double qualifier means there are qualifiers on both sides of the pot, with the high qualifier being a pair of nines or better, and the low qualifier being eight or better. This game is sometimes played with no high qualifier, and at Bellagio, they have a pair of sixes or better as the high qualifier. In this example, player 1 has missed his low and made a pair of 6s, which would see him have an unqualified hand in normal RG. With player 2 making an 8 low, he will scoop the entire pot. Dromaha and its subsequent variations are on the newer side in their involvement in mixed games. Dromaha is a mix of Omaha high and 5 card draw high. The action is similar to that of Omaha, but there is a single draw immediately after the betting round on the flop and before the turn is done. Normally there is a 3 card draw maximum and once the hand is complete, half the pot is awarded to the best Omaha hand and the other half of the pot is awarded to the best 5 card draw hand. Deuce to 7 draw Maha is a mix of Omaha high and Deuce to 7 triple draw, with half the pot awarded to the best Omaha hand and the other half of the pot awarded to the best Deuce to 7 low hand. Like in regular Deuce to 7 triple draw, aces play high and straights and flushes count against you. Draw Maha Doogie is a mix of Omaha high and either Badugi or High Doogie. Half the pot is awarded to the best Omaha hand, while the other half of the pot is awarded to either the best Badoogie or High Doogie hand. I hope you found this video helpful in getting a better understanding of how these wacky and unique games are played. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. And while you're here, please like and share this video, and throw a subscribe my way. Until next time, good luck out there.